Aloha. Thanks for tuning into yoga. Let's start. Seated today. Cross your legs if you're comfortable that way. Sit any other way. That is comfortable. If cross leg is not comfortable. What did he just say? Please, find yourself sitting here as comfortably as can be. Your seated posture doesn't need to look like mine. Posture tall. Arms relaxed. I invite you to close your eyes. You don't have to. Take a moment here just to sit. To sit with your body. To sit with your breath. Notice your mood. Your energy level. Random thoughts. Physical sensations in the body. Notice. With each breath. The shape of your body changes. As each moment passes. New sensations to experience. your thoughts, sit with your body, and breathe, and just as you let go of breath, let go of thoughts, and try to let go of physical sensations. No rush now. Open your eyes. And circle your arms overhead. Inhale to do so. As you exhale, bring your arms down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. This time, Draw your palms to touch and exhale your hands together down to your heart. Inhale your hands together up and then turn your palms forward. Exhale a clean slate. One more time like that. Circle the arms. Find your center line. Inhale the hands high and clean slate. Good. Lean forward. Take your hands to the floor in front of you. Try to keep your posture tall. Your shoulders pinned back instead of slouching. Try to keep the spine long. And if you can, bend the elbows to lower your torso. No rush. No challenges. Just feel your body today. Where is comfortable? And as you're ready, rise. Breathe in to come up. And let's put the other leg in front. Or, if you're not sitting cross-legged, Situate your legs in any other way. We want to change our position just a little bit. Notice change. Settle into the body. Remove flesh out from underneath of your pelvis. And float taller. Let's circle the arms again. Inhaling up. Easy down. One more like that. Inhale up. And exhale the arms, circle down. Now the palms touch. Inhale up. Palms find your center line as you exhale. Redefine that line on the inhale. Exhale a clean slate. One more time. Circle the arms. 
find your center. Inhale, hands high. And exhale, the clean slate. Take your right hand now behind you. Your left hand across to your right leg. A soft twist here. Notice the shoulders twist, then turn your face a little further back. Breathe in. And exhale, counter twist. Left hand behind, right hand across to the left leg. Shoulders level, posture tall. Turn your face back when you're ready. Breathe in. And as you exhale, unwind the twist. Face forward. Good. Left hand to the floor. Left elbow bends in towards you as your right arm may sweep overhead. This is side stretch. Can you get your head lower? Head closer to left shoulder. Left shoulder grounded. Inhale, look under the arm up towards the ceiling. As you exhale then, a little cartwheel across the top. Right hand down, right elbow bends in, and left arm comes overhead. A long arm, or a bent arm, or no arm at all. Encourage both shoulders to fall down the back. Once you feel like a longer neck, can you get your head any lower? Turn the face up. Breathe in. As you exhale, rise. Find the top. Inhale fully. Lean forward. The long spine angles forward. Hands support to buttress the length of your spine. Elbows bend to lower your torso, more or less as you're comfortable. You want to start to feel a little stretch at the base of the pelvis and the back of the pelvis and through your lower back and glutes. Another few breaths here. Feel your body, feel your breath, and try to keep the mind calm, free of random thoughts. Inhale and rise, use your arm strength to come up. Wonderful. Legs forward, long-ish. Longish legs, kindly pull your toes back. If your knees need to be bent up a little bit, by all means, keep your knees bent. As you're comfortable with straightening the legs, please do. Listen to your body, no straining here. Again, we want to take the long spine and lean it forward. Try to rest your arms to your legs somewhere. And if the knees are higher, easier to rest the arms to them. As the knees get lower, it's a little more challenging. You can take your hands to rest on your shins if you're lucky. Perhaps towards the ankles even. Try to keep the toes pointing up. Try to keep the knees pointing up as you surrender now. You may round your spine. Relax your neck. Tone your tummy in a little. It provides support, allows for the lower back to relax, and that might send you lower. Rise. 
use your arm strength and an inhale to roll up through the spine, arriving nice and tall after all. Good. Right leg, right in front of the hip. Left leg, in front of the hip. Stand your right foot to the ground, like so. Stand your right foot to the other side of your left leg. Good luck. Oof. Hug. Right knee up and in. Holding on to that knee, elbows and shoulders pull back in an effort to keep you tall. Take your left hand, well, hold on to the right knee with your left hand. Your right hand comes around back for support. It might just be your fingertips on the ground. Twist towards the right leg. Lift your rib cage a little higher. Try to get a longer waist and twist up and over that right thigh. Breathe in fully. And right hand back to the right knee. Hands pull against the knee and elbows pull back. Shoulders pin back. Prim and proper here. Good. Untangle. Interlace your fingers underneath of your right leg. Lean back a little bit and pull the elbows and shoulders back. See if you can get your right foot to comfortably float off the floor. And from here, pull your right toes back, gently extend your leg, and bend. Four, and bend. Three, and bend. Two, bend. And one. Bend. Good. Left hand to right knee. Come over the top. Extend if you dare. Counter with the right arm back. Dare you look back. Face forward. Return right hand to leg. Reset right leg down the center. Bend the knee. Good job. Challenging. Extend the right leg. Right in line with the hip. And left foot stands down. Elbows pull back. And shoulders pin back. Posture very tall. Left foot. You come and stand on the other side of your right leg. Right hand will hold left knee. Left hand sneaks around back. Now you'll notice you're twisting your rib cage into your thigh. Try to lift the rib cage up and over your leg. And then twist more, looking behind you. Breathe in. And the left hand returns to left knee. Elbows pull back, shoulders pin back. Let's untangle the legs. Hold on underneath. Perhaps interlace your fingers underneath your left hamstring. Elbows pull back, shoulders pin back, and you tilt back a little bit in order to lighten the left foot off the ground. Five extensions. One, and bend. Two, and bend. Three, and bend. Keep the foot flexed the whole time. Bend, last one. And bend. Good. Right hand to left knee. Carry left leg across the midline. Left arm can reach back more or less length to the left leg. That extension's up to you. Look behind you. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, return. Left hand to left knee. Find center. And put your foot down. Good. Extend both legs long. Stand both feet down. Take your hands to the floor behind you. And come off your block. 
Well, your prop. Whatever it was we started on. If you started on the floor, flat like so, well, we'll come up and down a few times now. Lighten the seat and lower. Side view. Fingertips, notice they point out to the side. As you lighten the seat, notice knees move forward. And as the seat comes down, knees come back. Getting the knees on top of your ankles is structurally sound, as is having the shoulders on top of the wrists. Can you notice that in your own body? Hands under shoulders, knees on top of ankles. One more time. Inhale, lift. And the lower. Very good. Very good. I'll turn the face forward. Let us take our right knee to the side. And the left knee as well falls to the right. Hands over to the right side for balance and support. Right arm doing the majority of the work. Left leg, swing it back. Oof. Yes. Now hands in front of your right knee. Place your palms flat. Lengthen your spine. And then dare yourself to come a little lower. And the arm strength can lift you or lower you. If you're lucky one, elbows might find the ground. No rush. Listen to your body. Listening to the body. If you hear or notice ache or pain, back off. Don't go so low. Make the shape smaller. Be kind to yourself. Listen to the body and what it has to say about all it is that we do today. Notice how your breath is affected by the shape, your mood, your mind, and of course, noticing physical sensations. Use your arm strength to come up. Good. Walk your hands around back. Twist away from your left leg. And look over your right shoulder. Continue to breathe, of course. Slowly unwind the twist, coming to face forward. Bring left leg towards right leg. Hands come over to the left as your knees come over to the left. Throw your right knee further back, further away from your left knee. And then the hands frame the left knee. Try to get your palms flat, just as need be, finding yourself more or less comfortable here, and then only lower as much as your hip stretch will allow. Can you get yourself lower? And eventually, relax. Relax into the floor. Letting go of thoughts, letting go of physical sensation. Feel your breath. rush. Rise. 
Use your arm strength to come up, hands framing the left knee. Now, walk your hands around the back. Once you get your hands around the back, twist and look over your left shoulder. Looking over the left shoulder finishes the twist, brings it all the way up into your neck. frame the knee more or less, legs towards each other. Let's come across to the other side once again. This time, straighten your left leg out to the side, a diagonal extension of your left leg. Good. A few times, kindly bring your left big toe towards the floor. It looks like this. Notice how the torso follows. Ooh. That was two times. One more. And neutral. Good. Hands to the floor behind your right knee. Place your left big toe to the ground. And we're going to use our arm strength to lift the pelvis. And then dare your left arm high. Breathe in, left hand down, slow to lower, and allow those left toes to point up. One more time, just the right arm for support. Fingertips point out to the right side. Left arm's going to sweep and give you some momentum. Make sure the big toe rotates to the floor. Sweep your hips high, sweep your hips low, give me your right wrist like so, and stretch the top side of your right wrist by pushing right hand in just a little bit. Switch legs. a few times for me. Inward rotation of the right leg. Be nice. Do not strain. Notice how the torso responds. As the toe comes down, the hands want to come across. Let's keep the toe down. Place your hands down. Oomph! Your seat off the floor. And the weight of your body that's resting in the left hip right now will come and redistribute into the right foot, the left shin, and your left hand. Ready? Lift the pelvis. Dare you reach your right arm to the sky. Come down slow and easy. No rush to reset. Finding posture tall. Right toes point up. We'll do this one more time with more of a sweeping arm gesture. The momentum of your arm will help you lift up. Left hand to the ground, fingertips pointing leftward. Right big toes, of course, will rotate inward and touch the floor. You ready? Inhale, prepare. Exhale, oomph. Inhale, flourish. Exhale, slow to descend. Ah, very good. Working the arm strength and finding those little back bends. Very good for us. Both legs wide. Flesh out from underneath of the seat. If this one is a pain, you might come and sit up on a prop again. A little lift to your pelvis to make things a lot more comfortable. Come on in. 
rest. Relax. Enjoy the sound of the rain. arm strength to help you rise. And bend both knees again. So your legs form the shape of an M. The letter M, more or less with your legs. Kindly flex the feet back. Stand your hands to the ground behind you with your fingertips pointing off to the sides. Well, side view. I'll give you the corner side view. All right. Fingertips pointing off to the side, legs making an M shape, and the toes pulling back towards the shin. Use your arm strength to drive your rib cage more forward and up. It's a hint of a back bend. You're welcome to lift your chin. A lot of weight is in the arms. Soften the back bend. Good. Very good. And draw the soles of your feet together. For butterfly, keep your hands where they are, fingers pointing out to the side. One more time with your legs in butterfly. Knees push down, ribs push up, and allow your chin to follow. Continue to breathe and feel what there is to feel across your chest and through your back. Soften that lift in your chest and come off of your hands. Hands towards your feet. Good. Walk your flesh out from underneath of your seat. Good. And the other one. That helps the pelvis to tilt forward. Or rest elbows either to your own legs or to the floor on the other side of your legs. Ah, good luck with that. Rest your elbows someplace comfortable. And then your hands. Rest them someplace comfortable. Surrender. Try to melt yourself a little lower. Letting go of tension. Relaxing. forward, shoulders forward. Give me a soft limp wrist here. Push your left hand in with your right hand. Toes pull back, legs more or less long as you're comfortable. You can always bend the knees if you need. Try to grow taller. Lift your ribs off the pelvis. And shake the hands. Good. Let's take both feet off to the left side. Both knees bend in order to get the feet there. Yeah. Now, well, you don't have to move it far, but separate your knees so that left knee is not on top of right leg at all. Hands to the floor on your right side. Your fingers pointing due right. Bend your elbows out to the side and lower down just to lift. Four more tiny push-ups here. Elbows bend side and rise. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lower, exhale, extend. Good. Other side. 
the legs to come towards each other. Knees across, hands across. Get your right leg off your left leg, but avoid throwing it too far back. Hands square off towards the left side. And your fingers point due left. Elbows bend them out to the side, away from each other, to lower you into a little push-up. Inhale down, exhale up. Three more times. Up. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more time. And up. Good. Find yourself forward. Legs and all. I'll give you the side view though. Hands to the ground beside and behind you. Side view looks like this. Arms a little further back. Lift the chest again. A little bit of back bend. This one's hard. Careful. Force nothing. But invite your pelvis to leave the floor. Rest. Notice how your hands get much heavier. As your weight shifts back, the pelvis lifts up. Do shift the shoulders back a little bit. And then reset. Good. Very much the same as this one we did earlier. Yeah. Just we start with the long legs. As the hips go up, the shoulders shift back just a tiny bit. One more time. Legs towards each other. Chest already pow. Shoulders further back to lift the seat. And then rest down. Come off of your arms and find your tabletop in line with your mat. Hands and knees in all fours position. The spine flat. And then we move it to its extremes. Tuck the toes, drop the belly down, tilt the tailbone up, and then the head tilts up and back, arcing the spine this way. Breathe in. As you exhale, point your toes back, round your spine the other way. So the tail tucks under and the chin tucks in. We call this the rounded spine. Tuck the toes, arcing spine. Breathe in to get there. And then point your toes back. Exhale, move with your breath. Tuck your toes, inhale, belly drops, arcing spine. Point your toes, round the back. And last time, tuck the toes, tilt the tail up, and from here, downward facing dog. Lift the knees and expect the shoulders to move well behind the hands. You're taking your pelvis up and back, away from the hands. Encourage your shoulder blades to plug into your rib cage. As your shoulder blades plug in, feels like you get a longer neck. Let's take the knees down. That's tabletop again. All fours or hands and knees. And then child's pose. Point your toes back and rest your seat back towards your feet. Forehead to the floor. Continue to breathe here. And let's rise again. Inhale to tabletop, hands and knees. Oh, exhale, settle in here. And tuck the toes under. Let's find downward facing dog again. Inhale, prepare. 
As you exhale, lift your knees off the floor and send your seat up and back away from your hands. And as you're ready, walk your hands back towards your feet and your feet forward towards your hands, coming out of the downward dog into a standing forward fold. If it's more comfortable to rest the elbows against your slightly bent knees, please do that. If you're more comfortable dangling the arms, by all means, please do that. We want to place our bodies in such a way that we can relax more, feel comfortable, all things considered more or less comfortable here. And try to find yourself more comfortable here. And personal comfort is a great rule and guide for your practice. You never want to strain or pain yourself. Hands to knees, everyone. Arms straighten, and that will lift you about halfway up into flat back. From flat back here, straighten just your right leg. Keep the left knee bent. If you're a lucky one, you can already feel some stretch along the outside of your right leg. Bring the left elbow to where left hand just was, and your right arm sneaks around back. Instead of sinking down, Try to push against your left elbow to keep the shoulders and head nice and high, the spine good and long. As you're ready, twist a little deeper, maybe look up towards the ceiling. Rebend right knee. Take hands to knees. Good. Straighten now your left leg. Right knee still bent. Bring your right elbow to where your hand is now. Tendency is to slouch. Don't do that. Lift, push off the elbow. Keep your heart and head high. The back of your left hand comes around to your back. And as you're ready, look up. Look up at the ceiling above you. Feeling that stretch along the outside of your left leg. Rebend your left knee. Take hands to your knees if they're not already. Good. And a deep squat now. Open your feet wider than your pelvis, wider than your shoulders. Turn your toes out to the side and bring your elbows to where your hands are. From here, try to keep your heart high. That's what your elbows are there for. You push against the elbows to keep the heart lifted. As the heart's up, dare you sink the seat. How low can you go into this squat? Be nice to your body. No contests, just exploration. Again, elbows push against the legs to keep you up. If you don't do that, it looks like this. Really scrunched in on itself. We want to keep ourselves lifted. It's easier to come up that way. Hands to knees. Push with your arm strength to lift yourself higher. Parallel your feet and then walk them in. Good. Drop your seat under your shoulders and stand tall, rolling your shoulders back a few times. After all, two balances standing here. First things first, open your feet about as wide as the hip distance, two fist distance. Lift your right heel and notice your spine shifts over the left leg. Put the heel of your right foot back down, lift your left heel. Notice your spine shifts on top of the right foot. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and left heel down. Let's come into counterbalance now. First things first, lift right heel, get spine on top of left leg. Then tilt the spine in line with your right leg. That should be enough to find the counterbalance. If not, you might add a little extra reach with the left hand. Pull, flex the right toes back until you're ready to come down. Right toes land and then the heel comes down. For the other side, we simply lift the left heel to set the spine up, the head, on top of our right foot. Then we take that spine and head in line with the left leg. That might be enough to find the counterbalance. If not, you might add a little more right arm reach. Allow the left toes to flex back if you're comfortable. You can always keep them down. This counts still as counterbalance, even if you're just teasing. When it's time to come down, you do put the toes down and then the heel. And the spine resets itself between the two feet. Our second balance. Feet more or less together. Turn your right toes out to the right. Lift the heel and slide in. Hands to prayer at the heart. As you're ready, push down into your left leg to grow taller. Eventually, flexing the right foot back. If head and spine is properly on top of left leg and left foot, right toes will want to lift off the floor. No rush. Knee forward. Foot down. Other side. Left toes pivot off to the side. Lift the heel. Slide in. Good. Shoulders grounded, slightly pinned back. Careful you're not here. Get the spine and the leg all out of sync. We want spine on top of right leg, head on top of right foot. If accomplished, left toes will want to leave the ground. You can always tease with the arms. They can help you balance. If you don't need them, Hands to heart. Good job, tree pose. Knee forward. Foot down. You're good. Parallel the feet. Inhale and circle your arms overhead. As you exhale, fold. Hands to knees. Fold in half. Bow. Relax your neck. I like hands on knees still. Inhale, straighten the arms to come about halfway up. And exhale, fold low again. And straighten the arms to lift halfway up. And then sweep the arms all the way up. Hands touch overhead. And then find your center. Again, inhale, hands up center. Exhale, fold in half. Dare you, elbows to knees. Relax the back of your neck. Hands to knees and flat back. Elbows to knees and drop down a touch. Hands to knees, flat back, rise. Sweep the arms overhead. Palms will touch. Find hands at heart. Close the eyes here. Relax the thighs, your hips, your glutes. Tone your tummy in just a little bit. Relax the legs. Relax the glutes. No rush. Allow your eyes to open. With the hands at heart like this, wish, honestly and truly, wish for the best, the best in health and happiness for yourself, for all your loved ones. Inhale, hands up. 
Exhale, release, arms down. And that's our time today. Thank you very much for tuning in to yoga, for tuning in to your own mind, your own breath, and your own body. You don't need me to do yoga. You can do your yoga anytime, any place. A simple neck stretch. One side and then the other. That counts as your yoga. A simple lift of the posture, fulfilling the breath. If only for a few breaths, that counts as your yoga. Please, practice breathing fully, actively relaxing both mind and body. Until next time, you take care. Aloha.